Good evening. Police are investigating after an attempted armed robbery in North Battleford this morning. North Battleford RCMP say it happened around 4.30 a.m. in a parking lot off Territorial Drive. Now, two men sitting in their vehicles were approached by three suspects. They demanded cash and property, and one man appeared to have a firearm. Police say one suspect bear sprayed one of the victims before both victims were able to flee from the scene. Now, the suspects then fled the parking lot without gaining any property. The investigation is ongoing. From adrenaline pumping acts to speeds that can make anyone dizzy, it was a spectacle in the sky on Saturday for Four Wings Cold Lake Air Show. Now, as Fraser Snowden reports, more than 15,000 people gathered and all eyes were on the sky. <laughs> Fort Wayne's new CF-18 demo jet started off the show and the excitement took off from there. People traveled from all over to take in the display of what Fort Wayne and their friends can do. The demonstration uh, aircraft, uh, CF-18, outstanding square loop, pulled 7 Gs, uh, really threw the aircraft through a lot of maneuvers, so it's pretty exciting to watch. I think it's great. Uh, it started off great with the Hornet and it should finish great with the Snowbirds. It's a lot of people here, so it's exciting, it's a nice day. Captain Mark J. Hada has only been flying with Snowbird 6 for a year and says he is really enjoying the experience. I like the interaction with uh, the aviation community, so it's a, it's a chance for us to portray some of the skill, professionalism and teamwork involved uh, in Canadian Forces personnel and as well in the Snowbirds and being able to interact with the crowd, especially uh, kids, talking with kids, uh, inspiring. The stunt pilots of Team Rocket also performed death-defying tricks in the sky. And the comedy flying act, Jelly Belly. The pilot pretended he didn't know how to fly. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Now, during the air show in Cold Lake, residents' eyes were not only looking up, but on the ground, too. The runways on the airfield were alive with planes, jets, and everything in between for people to check out before and during the show. Fraser Snowden has more. A number of aircrafts and military equipment. You could hop into a jet, explore the interiors of the larger planes, and if you wanted, pick up a rocket launcher. I enjoy looking at the fighters and, and uh, talking to the pilots. Had a, had a peek around, the boys had a seat in the helicopter and in the jet, They're, they seem to like it, yeah. We're just here, just on a bit of a family day here. One of the most popular planes on display always had a lineup and has a pretty impressive Pilots, resume. Pull the plane forward, all the cargo drops off the back. The C-17 Globemaster has delivered more than 80 million pounds of freight and has helped deliver aid all over the world. Anything that needs to go long distances in a reasonable amount of time, we can load about 170,000 pounds of freight on this plane and take it just about anywhere in the world. So it makes it a, a unique uh, airframe for the forces. Even students from Mount Royal University were there to promote their aviation program. Ryan Hack has been flying for four years and says once you fly, you can't stay on the ground. It's an addiction, really. The passion of aviation, once you do that first flight, you just get into it and you fall in love with it. And you want to just spend all your time studying flying and flying as much as you can. And that's what our diploma program is all about for those students. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Going back to the border city now, a wide variety of colorful cars were parked on the lawn at Lions Park yesterday afternoon. The Lloyd Auto Club held the annual specialty car show, and as Ann Canafe reports, this year proceeds went to a local man recovering from an industrial mishap. And we wish you all the best and a great recovery. Evan Wolgeen was in a car incident last year while working. A tire blew up in his face. He's almost speechless when thinking of the support he's receiving. Pretty awesome. These feel pretty important. Organizers say about 100 cars were in attendance. There's something about having a show on grass that is just wonderful, and then the, it's so easy to wander around the cars and look at the cars. And the club also funds a scholarship towards a grade 12 student who is going into motor vehicle trades. Whiting says there's always a good turnout. I, there's no other way to say it but generous. And uh, uh, the, the car lovers are here, and the people that own the cars are here and it just seems to be a really good mix. Oh, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be because all the rain stuff. 
and Nate Dupac News. Meanwhile, a major powwow took place in Onion Lake over the weekend as hundreds of people around the region and across the country came out. It's a celebration of First Nations people coming together to honor their culture and identity through dancing and customs. And for many, it's also a time for healing. It's my happy place. Like It's a place where I can come enjoy myself, be around my friends, and do something that I really enjoy. Also, while healing myself, for Randy Lynn Candeline, she's taking part in the powwow after a long hiatus, turning her life around. It was more of a lifestyle change. I, I chose a life of sobriety and dancing was part of it. And um, I moved away to another province away from my family and dancing was my way of coping with my loneliness and stuff and it's been life changing ever since. And Randy Lynn isn't alone. For Todd Half, dancing is a way of life. You feel better after every dance but I think the funnest part for me is the people, my friends, my family, because a lot of us work during the winter, like me, I, I work during the winter, and then come summertime, like we all just get together and it's, it's pretty fun. Many of the colorful and intricate costumes tell a different story during the dance. The prairie chicken dance comes from the Blackfoot people in southern Alberta, and what the dance is, it's a courting dance, it's a mating dance. And that's what the powwow is all about, strengthening your ties to your culture while bettering yourself as a person. I dance jingle dress and it's a healing dress. So it's good, it's a place for prayers and also a place for sobriety too, like it's a ceremony, so drugs and alcohol aren't allowed, so it's a safe place for me. Well, it's traveling season, the time of year families pack up and go on trips touring all over the country, including here in the border city. Well, a new travel guide is coming out, highlighting what Lloydminster and the surrounding area has to offer. Annika Notveit has the details. This is a project that we're really passionate about, that we've wanted to do for a long time, and just luckily have kind of fallen into place. She's speaking of the local traveler's guide to Canada's only border city. Her company, Red Bicycle Communications, is working with the Chamber of Commerce on the project and say it's not just for tourists. The first is a focus on locals. So Lloyd has so many people moving here from across the country, whether it be from the East Coast or where. And when they get to Lloyd, a lot of times people don't know what to do with their free time, with their recreation. A lot of people actually living in the surrounding area travel to Lloyd as their hub. So we have a broad demographic and we want to please them by finding out different areas that they can go and explore. She says there's many hidden gems in the area and is passionate about making it possible for others to find out about them. There's a horseback riding place really close to Lloyd that I would never have known about as a local resident until somebody else had told me. And those at the chamber say it's important to think of the local economy and keep people in the city. The retention of the workforce. So many people move to Lloyd and may say that they don't have things to do here. The book will come out in March 2015 and you'll be able to get them at various local businesses, hotels and visitor information centres. Anna Kanafe, New Cap News.